Peace and blessings, everyone. Seven at seven, Silverlocks Yoga with June. So good to see all of you. We're going to start with some breathing, and we're going to go right into some leg work, because yesterday we didn't get a chance to go into any leg work. Let's take a nice deep breath in. Exhale through pursed lips. Big inhale. Exhale. Feel free to make sound with the breath. Big inhale. Exhale. Good. Stretching the muscles of the face. Stick out the tongue. Wiggle the nose. Move the eyebrows. I don't know if you noticed this, but when I squinch my eyes closed and then open wide and squinch and then open, it's like I can see clearly. It's like it brightens up the eyes and I'm able to see a little clearer. So hopefully that works for you. Deep breaths. Good. Let's go right into those legs. Massage those knees. Deep breaths. Gentle massage. Good. So have you ever notice if you're sitting down for a long time? Hello, hello. Who's that? Hello, Ron Cephas Jones. So good to see you. Blessings, my brother. So you know when you're sitting down for a long time, you got to rub those knees before you try to just stand up, right? So we're going to extend the legs. And you can do this after you've been sitting for a while or even if you've been laying down. Just kind of extend the legs, even in bed. Point and flex the feet. Rotating, deep breaths. Relax the face. Relax the breath. Opposite direction. So these are some things you can do before you try to just stand up before you try to just get out of the bed. And then it helps that you don't have that little creaking feeling. And massage those knees whenever you get a chance, yeah? Good, same thing on the other side. We have that little massage. We're gonna extend those legs. We point and flex. And we breathe. Each movement is accompanied by breath. We rotate. Deep breaths. Relax the face, relax the breath. Opposite direction. If it gets to be too much and those legs start to hurt, just take a moment to breathe. Massage the knees, massage the thighs. Good. Now if you can, we want to extend that right leg and we're going to place that heel right into the earth. Now the feet are flexed, so the toes are coming toward your nose. And you're going to reach down and just feel that stretch. And we breathe. Reach down, touch those toes. If you can't touch the toes, maybe the ankle maybe the shins, whatever your flexibility will allow. Because you know, we designed this uh, 7 at 7 for people with limited mobility. So we're doing only what we can do today. If your body says stop, stop. Now I'm going to show you another trick. If it's too much to reach all the way down, just bring that leg up and reach toward the toes. If you can't touch the toes, no big deal. Touch the shin, touch the knees, whatever your flexibility will allow. Breathe and gentle release. So let's do the same thing on the other side. We're going to flex that foot, heel digs gently into the earth, we slowly reach down and touch those toes. Feel that stretch. Breathe. Deep cleansing breaths. Good. We do only what we can do. And if it's too much to reach all the way down, we lift that leg up and we just reach. Notice I can't really touch this one as easily as I can this one because of my arm issues. So that's okay, but at least I feel that stretch. Doing only what I can do today. No competition, no, competition, no judgment, no expectations. We do only what we can do. Good. And then we take a moment and massage those legs. So we're doing a lot of leg work today because we didn't get a chance to do leg work yesterday. So we're going to cross that right leg over the left. Good. Now, from here, take your left elbow on the outside of that right knee. Hands together in prayer. Thumbs to the sternum. Turn that torso as far as you can and feel that stretch. Breathe. Relax the face. Relax the breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep turning that torso so you get that torso twist. And 
and gentle release. Good. We come back to center. Same thing on the other side. Let me see. I have some new people checking in. Hey, Carla. How you doing, baby? Good to see you. Deep breaths. All right. Same thing. Left leg comes over. Deep breaths. That right elbow is on the outside of that left knee. Hands together in prayer. Thumbs to the sternum. Turn. Feel that stretch. Breathe. Deep breaths. Relax the face. Relax the breath. And we slowly come back to center. Good. Excellent work, everybody. Who's that? Hey. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Let's sweep those arms up. Big inhale. Big exhale. Deepening our breath. Doing only what we can do today. Lift those shoulders up and we roll them back. Good. Adding a rowing motion. Breathe. Relax the face. Relax the breath. Opposite direction with our row. Good. Relax the face. Sending peace and loving kindness to everyone all around the world. Good. And those shoulders now come forward. So think of rowing a boat as if you were rowing from side to side. So you're working, working that torso, working those arms. Deep breaths. Good. Relax the face, relax the breath. Place those hands once again on those knees. We're going to forward fold, head forward, heart forward, and then round the back, hollowing out the belly. Good. Two more times, and then we're wrapping it up. Pull it back. Okay. Head up, heart up, and then round it back. That's it, guys. Seven at seven. Seven minutes of stretch and meditation, love, peace, joy. Ending our seventh day of the week, seven at seven. Happy Diwali to all of those celebrating Diwali this week. Love you all. Thank you. May the light in me honor the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.